Hello and welcome to another podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Bobkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week we reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. The United Kingdom. In his blog, Why Reciprocity Might Be Bullshit, David Jenkins questions the conventional standards of reciprocity. Recent economic downturns have left too many people seeking opportunities to reciprocate by contributing in the usual way via a traditional job. BIC will empower people to contribute through volunteerism or to more effectively democratically challenge society. Ireland Members of the Basic Income Ireland Network will participate in a public event about basic income at the Public Library in Selbridge Coal Kilder at 2 p.m. on Saturday, November the 23rd. The event will begin with a short presentation about the fundamentals of basic income and there will be plenty of time for questions and discussion. The event is being hosted jointly by Cultivate Selbridge and Transition Town Manus. Switzerland. Switzerland is considering the introduction of a basic income scheme which would guarantee a standard benefit income to every citizen regardless of need. Tom Boland looks at how the system would work in Ireland. Tom Boland lectures in sociology at Waterford Institute of Technology and is coordinator of the Waterford Unemployment Experiences Research Collaborative. Switzerland. Switzerland's successful effort to place a basic income guarantee, BIG, on the ballot would put a floor on the people's income, according to Carl Weidequist at Georgetown University. BIG is the idea that income doesn't have to start at zero. No date has yet been set for Switzerland's BIG vote. Switzerland On November 2013, the Federal Chancellery of Switzerland announced that the Citizens' Initiative for an Unconditional Basic Income has been formally accepted. It stated that after the validation of the signatures on the 4th of October, 126 408 valid signatures were submitted. Thus, the Federal Chancellery of Switzerland confirms formally there will be a national referendum on unconditional basic income. Germany. The article published in the World Movement of Christian Workers, WMCW, talks about their meeting with the motto of conducting a more just, fraternal and sustainable society, where they decided that in order to reach the outcome of their motto, they need to conduct a universal basic income UBI awareness campaign. Analysis by many WMCW delegates around the world showed that many families living on Earth are living in poverty and do not have even the minimum means to take their ends. In the light of the current crisis, argues the article, there is a growing unemployment and inability to offer jobs and these problems cannot be tackled by current economic policies. There is a need to offer something different, such as UBI, which is, as its name suggests, universal, offered without condition to everyone and basic enough to fulfill basic necessities. The UBI is already on the agenda of several international institutions such as United Nations and European Union. Kenya A recent article in The Economist, Cash to the Poor, Pennies from Heaven, charts both the oranges of cash transfers in their unconditional and conditional forms and most importantly gives its seal of approval that giving cash when combined with wider measures is an effective way forward for addressing inequality and poverty. The article reaffirms the overwhelming evidence that giving cash improves key human development incomes, increased vaccinations and school attendance, spending money on improved living conditions, bolsters psychological well-being, for example reduced levels of the stress hormone cortisone in the blood of recipients, depicts positively the capabilities of the poor by illustrating how transfers unlock and resource their economic potential, resulting in increased microeconomic activity and entrepreneurialism. 
European Union. The European Citizens Initiative for Unconditional Basic Income has opened a crowdfunding or crowdsourcing campaign. They are calling on basic income supporters to donate to help finance the collection of the rest of the 875,000 signatures needed to pass the initiative. The crowdsourcing initiative is inspired by Croatia, which started promoting their basic income website and their Facebook page in September 2013. By October the 15th, Croatia, the last country to enter the race for signatures, became the first country to collect the minimum quota of signatures. They achieved it in only 45 days, using nothing but the power of the Internet and the attention of the media. Sweden and Portugal, which have begun trying Croatia's tactics, are now seeing an enormous increase in signatures. Book Review The message of Carl Weidequist's book, Independence, Propertylessness and Basic Income, A Theory of Freedom as the Power to Say No, is simple. We are not free, we ought to be. And a citizen's income, called here a basic income guarantee, is an important means to that end. In this book, Widerquist draws out the implications of freedom as effective control self-ownership and particularly its relationship to the individual's cooperation with other individuals, to the labor market, to our ability willingly to sign away our freedoms. Alongside this somewhat abstract discussion of concepts, Weyerquist studies today's social and economic context and concludes that in a modern industrial economy, effective control self-ownership is best secured by an unconditional basic income guarantee large enough to secure housing, food, clothing and basic transportation, plus enough more that individuals do not display signs of economic distress. This book is many things, an exercise in political economy, a textbook on philosophy and social ethics, particularly in chapter 9 on duty, and a sustained argument for a citizen's income, and it is an excellent example of all of them. Brazil In his article posted on the 11th of November, Eduardo Matarese Suplicy, a PhD in economics from the Michigan State University, and a senator of the Workers' Party of Sao Paulo informs that the 81 senators representing the 27 units of the Federation, 16 political parties, including two former presidents of the Republic, one current and two former presidents of the Senate, two likely candidates for the presidency, 20 ex-governors and 18 ex-mayors have signed a letter to President Dilma Rousseff, handed in by Eduardo Matarazzi Suplicy himself on October the 25th. With a proposal, she should appoint a working group with the purpose of paving the way for the institution, step by step, starting with those most in need of the Citizenship Basic Income, CBI, according to the law approved by all political parties in the Brazilian National Congress. It is the first country in the world where the parliament has approved a law to that effect. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.